How to maintain the time codes when editing audio. This is a time-saving hack that works in any audio editing program. If you're a working voiceover like myself, you'll know the job is not just interpreting and performing scripts well. We've also got to be a good audio editor and a fast one as well often, and it can be great fun doing this once you've learned whatever audio program you have. But if you haven't already, sooner or later, you will get a client who will ask you to do various different takes of each part of the script and then send you a long timecode list of what they want to keep or what they want to get rid of. Usually you have the timecodes in and the timecodes out that you have to delete. You may also get timecode edit lists given to you when you are editing podcast interviews, the best bits they want to use, also in video editing. And I do recommend, by the way, if you're a voiceover, you learn video editing as well, because otherwise you're leaving a lot of money on your table, where your voiceover work could be integrated with videos that the client gives you as well. But that's another matter. Right, OK, you've got this time code list. The problem is that you find the first section to cut out at the top of the list, the in and the out, and you've identified the time codes. You find the exact places on your audio files, in and out, you chop out the unwanted sections. But the problem here is now because you've got rid of that section, the waveform has closed up and all the subsequent time codes in that list are now not accurate anymore. And you'll find the next sections that the client wants you to chop out. Uh, because as soon as you delete something, of course, it brings the two sides together. Everything further down the line has been shifted. So what do you do? Well, you could find the sections that you need to delete and simply highlight them and silence them so you can see loads of gaps. And then after you've done the whole list, you would then carefully reselect every one of those silent gaps to make the finished file. Well, that's so time consuming. So the answer is maybe this is rather unintuitive, but you need to start with the last time code change in the list. So you work backwards from the end to the start. It's not as if you're listening to the content and it has to make editorial sense, is it? The client or producer has already done that. You just need to chomp out the stuff the client wants and to send them a finished file with that time code list you've got. So that's the answer. Simply start with the last time code to change and then that way, all your time codes in the list the client has given you are still relevant as you work your way backwards towards the first deletion. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching. We have a full Adobe Audition course on a link around this video. Uh, please visit voiceovermasterclass.com for loads more information and further training courses on audio and video work, as well as voiceover careers and marketing.